Hey guys, WB Trading Cards here, and welcome to the much requested return of Match Tech Premier League to the channel. And uh, now, in today's video, for this return, I'm going to be also doing what has been a much requested video itself, and that is to build a £100 million team uh, for your Match Tech 15 16 Premier League. So, of course, this is the collection they'll be using for the World Championships, the Swap and Play Tours in April. Also, if you're just playing games normally and you need a 100 million team then this could be an option or at least a guideline some of the cards I use will be pretty rare um, so obviously you can just use cards with the same value and hopefully similar ratings to replace those if you don't have them uh, but we'll get straight into it without further ado and start off on the subs bench uh, where our first substitute is Tottenham midfielder Nabil Bentaleb. Now I've got his Pro 11 card here but obviously his normal card is just the same value but downgraded by three stats on each uh, rating. So you can easily use his normal card in that position. Uh, but anyway, here's the first sub and valued at only 4.5 million, so a very high ratings for that value. Our second sub, again, uh, 4.5 million and again a midfielder. A young one, this time for Arsenal. And uh, he's slightly lower rated at 75 and 60, but still a very good card for your 4.5 million. And by the way, this team, including the subs, does add up to exactly 100 million pounds. For our third and final sub, though, we do go over to the east side of London uh, to West Ham where we do have Adrian uh, the Spanish goalkeeper for the Hammers uh, his man of the match card rated at 95 uh, 10 million you do have to pay a price for it but 95 is a very very good uh, stat nonetheless and then we do have our first team goalkeeper and this one's not actually as high rated as Adrian uh, but the reason we're using him is in case they have an injury card they see Adrian in goal and they can sub him off uh, so we don't want that so we have got in his place Peter Schmeichel the cult hero card uh, now there's plenty of other goalkeepers for 5.5 million with slightly worse stats if you don't have the cult hero uh, but yeah he'll go in net for this first 11. Then next up we do have a teammate of Adrian's it is the West Ham star player uh, Winston Reid at just 5 5 million but 81 rated he can be a really good card to use especially if people think that you're using the 4 million uh, Reese Oxford and they might play like 75 rated card or so and Winston Reid can trump that and get your point so he's a really good card to use and then our next defender uh, is our only away kit card in the team obviously you're only allowed to use one away kit uh, but this is Nathaniel Klein of Liverpool uh, raised at 5.5 million on his value and 85 on his defence and of course if you do win with an away kit card uh, then it will score you two goals next up we have another Liverpool defender and it is another Pro 11 which of course can be replaced by his base card it is Martin Skirtle raised at 87 and uh, 5.5 million uh, as his value again and he is our next defender and then finally completing the defense with our highest rated one so far it is 99 Branislav Ivanovic rated at 12 million so our most expensive player by far yet I think the most expensive player in the team actually uh, but 99 on defense he can barely be beaten, so he is an absolute rock in defence in the match checks game, not so much in real life. So he does finish off our defence, and then we do move on to the midfield, where we start off with a gold limited edition card in Jordan Henderson. So obviously this is quite a rare card, um, but 7 million and 83 for him. A really, really good value for money there, but uh, his base card is raised at 77, so can also be used, or another card um, that's uh, valued at 7 million uh, to replace him if you don't have him. But he's good all round as well with 78 on defence, so he can really be used on either. Uh, but next up in the centre of the park we do have 86 rated and just 5 million which is pretty incredible it is Nananya Matic he also has 65 on attack as well so you can use him on that if it really comes down to it and as our final midfielder we do have Manchester City and England man uh, it is Raheem Sterling this is his gold limitation uh, found in the collector guides of course the bronze and silver will do as well uh, 90 and 91 also his base card if you don't have any of the limited editions uh, should be fine in that position but 9 million there and 92 a very good card and then we move on to our three attackers, uh, where we do start off with Southampton forward, 
Graziano Pella. Uh, at 87 rated on his Pro 11 card, 84 on his base card, but just 8 million, which is pretty low for a forward. Um, I find him to be a very good card to use up top. And then our next forward uh, is the Frenchman for Arsenal, is Olivier Giroud. Of course, again, his gold limitation here at 94, uh, but his silver or bronze will do, all found in the uh, mini collector tins. Anyway, Giroud, 94 rated and 9 million. But again, a very, very good uh, rating for his value. And then as our final player in the team, almost identical to Giroud on his stats, uh, it's his North London rival, Harry Kane, with 94 and 9.5 million on his value, but a better defence as well. Uh, so here's the final player. He concludes the team. And in total, it does all add up to 100 million on the dot so just getting the best use out of your money anyway now we move on to the final bit of the team which can be quite important it's the tactic cards and I found the two best to use are the man of the match boost cards which isn't that good in this team because we've only got four non shinies which are the only ones you can use it on uh, but anyway you can use this even when the card is revealed controversially so even when both players have turned over their cards you can still use your man of the match boost to give you an edge uh, so it's a really overpowered card and that is the first one. Then our next one, I spoke a bit about it earlier. Uh, it is the injury card. So if you have a hunch that they've got a Hazard 101 or someone on the pitch, then you can use your injury card and force them to sub that player off. And of course, they won't be able to use it in the rest of the game. Uh, so that can also be a lethal card um, in matches. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Obviously, as I said, quite a rare team. Um, but I hope it's a basis to build off. And I will also probably be following this up with a less rare team. Uh, but if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here for more Match Tracks content. And I'll see you next time.